Good morning, Gresham, and uh, to our thousands in attendance and our million of viewers at home. We are back for the Surratt Bruce International Gresham's 40th Teddy Bear Parade, and we're smack dab in the middle of Gresham on Main Street, partnered with Metro East Community Media, bringing this to you. Carol, what a great day for a parade. Oh, look at this. It's beautiful out today. We're so fortunate. And we got a good crowd of people lining our streets today, and this is our first parade that we have had in the last two years, Greg. So we're we're so happy to be able to do it again. Absolutely, it's great to be back and we see our uh, Gresham police officers on the motors. Uh, they are leading the parade and uh, we're gonna get this thing started. We're awfully excited. They've been lined up in the parking lot back there and kids are anxiously awaiting their opportunity to kind of be on display. And Absolutely. that's what it's all about. And we have a lot of schools and a lot of uh, preschools and daycares. And so today we're ready. And these kids are all ready. They've been back there since 7.30 this morning waiting to come out and show them their their tricks or whatever it is, their play for their parents and their grandparents. So we're pleased to put this on today. And there's Gresham's Finest coming up. And as you uh, watch this, folks, keep in mind that this parade, it's put on by the Sriracha Center National Gresham. Lots of sponsorships, lots of assistance from this community. Over the 40 years, it has really developed, and the Sarathma has continued to do great things, and we'll talk to you about that throughout the parade. Throughout the parade, as well as we have many sponsors that have enabled us to put on this parade, and we're very fortunate for that. And, and there, there's our teddy bear parade, and we're a uh, uh, banner, and so we're very, 40 years, Greg, and so we're really pleased to be able to do this again. Outstanding. Yeah, outstanding. As you call it, a friend raiser. And uh, it's it's very neat. This community looks forward to it, and it's great to have it back again. Two years without it, just felt lost. And now here we are that last weekend of September and having a great time right down here in Main Street. So if you're tuning in, you're, you're lucky. You're getting to see this as it starts. Yes, in the last two years, Greg and I put together a virtual parade that you can see on Metro East from time to time to cover all of the parades that we have done over the last 40 years. So we hope that when that comes on, you tune it in tune into it. So here we have Weston, Weston uh, Buick, GMC, Kia, and Hummer. They have been our presenting sponsor for many, many years, and we're so pleased to have them. They are a vital part of our community, and so we appreciate what they do and thank them. Yeah, they really are. They just do amazing work. The Weston family has done that for years and years and years, been, meant a lot to this community, and they continue to do that. And of course, they got the scouts with them this this year, which is uh, typically what they do. Uh, Jan Weston, a big part of the Scouts. And uh, Brad Rowe, I'm sure he's behind the oh. wheel of this little fire engine coming through. And you know, Carol, I talked to Brad. They've owned that now 10 years. In the last two years alone, they put over six, maybe 8,000 miles on that rig. Is that going, Driving to birthday that. going to birthday parties and such? Absolutely, yeah. Hi, and that that is such a nice thing for the community. He's everywhere, all the time. Look at this. There with, it is. With their Dalmatian, look at that. Yep, Brad Rowe, he's playing his jams. Yep. Celebration, they got a lot to celebrate down there at Weston. In they fact, they've got that new do. Hummer celebrating the Hummer. Oh, yes, I know. It's, they, they have a lovely uh, establishment up there on Stark. Yeah, it's just awesome. Yes, I see Carla Peluso in our, in our background coming up to you to say hi. Doing good. Retired hi. Police Chief You're Carla Peluso, yeah. wonderful to see her out here. It it's is. Thank you. Yeah. Yes. Beautiful day. Yeah. And then we have Mount Hood Community College. That is our next sponsor that's coming up. And they are a career support sponsor. And they have been with, uh, they have seen more than a million students pass through their doors since their inception in 1966 when the college started. It, it not only provides uh, a major provider for higher education, but serves the community as a center for activities. And as you know, oh, there's uh, the president's scar. There we are. President's here. Al Segal is here. There's, you know, I went to Mount Hood Community College. I'm, I'm a local product. I, I didn't graduate, unfortunately, but I, I attended. I did, too. I did, too. And, and I, behind them comes Travis Stovall, Gresham's mayor. Mayor. Now, he's going to ride today, uh, and he's assumed office in January of 2021. Longtime Gresham resident, small business owner of 3Rep Incorporated. Driving the mayor is Paul Taylor, participated in the very first teddy bear parade, but Paul was driving something different then. <laughs> That's our mayor. There Hi, he mayor. is. There's Hello. our mayor. With his teddy bear in Good the back. Good morning, sir. You're, you're on camera. They got perfect picture of you. You look great. Okay. So the next one that we have is all about automotive, and they have been a sponsor of ours for also for many years. And uh, in this is going to be our president, El 
Ellen, Mary Ellen Savoy Robbins. And this is a 1963 Corvette that uh, was one of our previous members had and uh, all about automotive bought it. And Karen Johnston is driving that car. It's a, still a beautiful, beautiful car. Thank you so much. And thank you, Mary Ellen, for being the president of Sir Optimist. Madam President, Gray Line Waterfall Trolley is up next. They are they travel the historic Columbia River Highway from Memorial Day till Labor Day. You can enjoy the scenery without the traffic or parking problems. Hop on or off at any one of the 10 stops for some sightseeing or hiking. Hop back on at the next trolley and continue your narrated ride. Wonderful, and riding today on the trolley are some of the Seraphimus Live Your Dream Education Award winners and their friends and families. Congratulations to the women who are furthering their education to make career dreams come true. It's great to have the trolley. It is, absolutely. And those students that were on there was Jessica Gonzalez, Guadalupe Martinez, and Jessica Hummer. And they were our 2022 winners. And that's what a lot of the fundraising money that we get from our sponsors for this go towards those scholarships. And Greg, you've been yep. to those and, and been the MC at some of our banquets for and that. And they're all Mount Hood Community College students. Now yes, look at this. These, there's some folks standing tall. Portland Skyliners Tall Club. They're a social club founded in 1955 for women 5'10 and taller and men 6'2 and taller. They fundraise to support the Marfin Foundation. It's research of genetic connective tissue disorder seen sometimes in tall people. There they are. They also annually award a scholarship to a tall teen who meets the club's height requirements. So, Greg, what kind of a car was that? That is, and I should know, uh, but that's a, a little three-wheel deal, and it's made by Polaris, and I just got to think oh, about really? what it is. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, that's kind of cute. They are kind of neat. You know, Shaquille O'Neal has one that he customized to fit his seven-foot-four frame. Oh, really? Amazing. Oh, yeah. wonderful. So now what we have coming up is the Scribbles Preschool, and Scribbles is a highly academic private preschool program for children ages three to five, and uh, we are so happy that they're with us today. Their color evidently is yellow, and so today they are driving a flatbed truck, and it says that they will have 75 people walking with this. Their group leader is Jim Russell, and we're so pleased to have you with us this year. Scribblespreschool.com, there they are, and uh, they always make a good showing at this parade. We love to have them back out here, showing the yellow, looking great. Scribbles wow. Preschool, the education program for ages, three to five years check in the scribbles and uh, be part of this community Look they, at them. they gathered early this morning carol they've been out there waiting this have is one they, of those groups that's that one of those really groups excited. that was out there early yeah very good wow. to have them well it's nice to have them all here and we're so lucky that we have a beautiful day for them all to be out and smiling and you bet feeling good yeah some of the kids walking looked like they feel like they've been left out they'd rather be on the trailer <laughs> but maybe you can switch yeah yeah talk about sharing so the next coming up is Pediatric Therapy Services, and they also are one of our teddy bear sponsors. And Pediatric Therapy Services helps children experience the world with greater confidence thanks to the improvements in mobility, strength, coordination, cogniz cognition, communication, social emotional development, and or sensory processing. processing. We now have four locations in Gresham, Clackamas, Happy Valley, and Oregon City. Their leader is Jamie Bailey, and they have a float. Oh, isn't that pretty? Look at those bears hanging oh, out the uh, center yes. and out the back. That is super great. Now, those are some big size bears. Look at that big one in the back. My Pediatric goodness. therapy. Very nicely done. Very, great to have them out very... here. Good morning. You're on camera. Make sure you smile. Yeah, that it's exciting. Is, that is super great. And uh, again, one of our sponsors, uh, Pediatric Therapy Services. Amen. Yeah, next up, U.S. World Class Taekwondo. We're in the blue group, of course. They have been serving Gresham since 1988. It's been named the best martial arts by the Gresham Outlook for over a decade. Black belts are community leaders with countless hours of volunteerism under their belts. Additionally, many of our students are current national title holders. They're accepting wow. new students starting at age three have programs for all skill levels. Thanks, Samuel Leiter, for putting this together. And uh, U.S. World Class Taekwondo. Wow. And they, they do a lot with mentorships. They do role modeling, discipline. Oh, we're going to get a demonstration. Oh, we're breaking boards, Carol. Whoa. We, look at that. That is super. On cue. Yes. Oh, here we go. Wow. That's, that's impressive. Whoa, yeah. Uh-oh. Whoa. Whoa, there's power there. They've got, uh, yeah, we got some wood flying out here. That's crazy. Yeah. 
and the middle of the ball is Princess Merida. Uh, there she is, right. That was impressive. Uh, that was very impressive. I don't know how many more of these boards these guys are going to break, but... They have to have a lot if they're going to continue this I today. need them around to create kindling. That would be great. <laughs> Let's watch these, uh, yes. watch these little young ones here. Look at how young they are. My goodness. Well, and it's more than just the skill of the uh, martial arts themselves. They teach discipline, right up. Uh, yes. responsibilities, respect. So it does. It's great. I, and I love how the older kids are the mentors to the young kids. Yes, they Gives are. Them somebody to look up to and somebody to be proud of. This is a wonderful school. This is, I'm, I'm, I'm impressed. I hear you guys playing Moving yeah, on. that's a great turnout. Yes, that is a great turnout. And and some of the things that Sirach must do. Now you also, you know, you mentioned about the school, um, how you're how you're helping folks further their education. Sirach must actually, you, you're involved in so much good and and just contributing so much more back to the community. Well, Sir Optimus, we've been Sir Optimus has been an organization for over a hundred years, and we started in California. And so there is probably a branch of Seroptimus almost all over the United States. That's incredible. And it's all it's all women and men. Now we gotta include that. Women and men that yep. are in a profession that can give time. Sam Barlow. Yeah, let's talk about Sam Barlow for a minute. We'll back to <laughs> Bruce Schmidt, this is the principal behind the wheel of that Sam Barlow truck. This is their pet band. This band puts so much energy out there for games, whether it be basketball, football, whatever, they are just the best. Look and, at the bubbles. And this is their cheerleaders and their dance team. The Brunettes, the Bruin cheerleaders, I'm telling you, Barlow is strong, and uh, they've got Bruin pride. It's really great to see them That's out there. super. That's where my children all went, and some of my grandchildren. And they're coming off a big victory last night. Brandy Seibel knows she's coaching the uh, the oh. cheerleader. 21-14 victory over Clackamas. They haven't beat Clackamas since 2002, 2008, no somewhere back kidding. there. No oh, kidding. Mary Poppins. Poppins. What do we have here? So this is, so Mary Poppins. This is still part of Barlow, I think. Yes, I think it is. It it's must their be theater their, group. their drama. Yeah, their drama so department. Check well, isn't out. that great? That's great they are in here. And I'm going to put you on the spot and ask, have you been to a theater with the high schools in the last, say, five years? I, well, obviously two years, no, but. Five years. Well, about a year ago, yes. Okay. I, I, I have not been to the local one. I went to one in Sandy. Sandy has a brand new campus. Yeah. And they had it's... a play, and it was absolutely beautiful. I've gone to the little theater that we have in Gresham. I've gone to their plays. Yeah. And, um, yeah. It's I'm amazing. Looking, I'm looking forward to going to one in the new Gresham High School sure. auditorium because that is phenomenal. Yeah. And, I mean, if you've not been in that high school, you need to go there because it is absolutely and and Wonderful. I would just encourage everybody, the talent out there in these schools and oh. these theater programs is is just ridiculous. And it's just amazing to watch them transform. And especially when you kind of get to know these kids, it's like, wow, just just amazing. Absolutely. Now, so here's, a, here's so, a couple of folks that just checked themselves in yeah, the middle of the parade. They, I'm not sure what we're doing. Well, that's here. okay. They've got their puppies and they want to <laughs> be in the parade. And so I think they're with the Lions Club. We let them Look at this that. little lion right here. I know. Isn't he sweet? <laughs> They are, they're with the lions. Isn't that sweet? So this is the Gresham Lions, uh, Breakfast Lions. They support our community with help for sight and hearing. They also have a scholarship program, plus provide help for those needing glasses or hearing aids. The club provides in-school sight screening and flags for, for first graders. And their group leader is Floyd Franchis, and they have a pickup. Oh, there's their pickup. Oh, they have a big lion up there. They do, and they do so much uh, in the community. Lions Breakfast Club, this is an amazing group. If you're interested, we appreciate the Lions. I see Tom Slider up there, obviously retired Multnomah <laughs> County, um, but some great folks uh, part Absolutely. of this club. And I would say the younger generation at this point, not really picking up a lot of the, the lot of slack for, for the organizations that are That's out there right. doing so much. And we need to really ask ourselves, are these community groups important to continue on? Because it's unfair to ask them to keep giving so much of themselves without being able to pass the torch, so to speak. Absolutely right. And especially with the Lions, where I've given, I can't tell you how many pairs of glasses yeah. over my years, too. And it's they pass those on to children and adults that are not able to be able to afford them. Yes, they them. do. So well, we're very, very fortunate. Well, speaking of fortunate, we're fortunate to have the Moms Club of Gresham in our group today. They're a group of moms. They get together and cheer each other on. Friends, they love making new friends, too. Motherhood is hard. It's hard to find mom oh friends. Yep. So they make yep. it a little easier on you. Yes, so if you're looking do. for a mom friend, you want some little support and some help, Amen. get a hold of this Moms Club of Gresham. 
they're out there to help. They've got some kids out there, but these are all moms helping each other and support each other through. And, you know, motherhood is tough. And I say that as a father, I recognize that. So. And as a mother, I do, too. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> of four children. Okay, this is Hogan Cedars. And this is the Parent Teacher Student Organization at Hope Hogan Cedars Elementary has a mission to support and encourage all students of Hogan Cedars. They will partner with the staff to support and encourage student engagement and support the school mission of engaging hearts and minds. I like that. Yes. This will be accomplished through creative methods and approaches to connect with students and families and build school, school spirit and excitement. Their leader is Samantha McWilliams and she is their vice president. And we're so grateful they were here today. Oh, be a hawk, I will be leave a this one to you. And now look at this, Small World Learning Center. And there's my daughter, Sammy, right there, right up front and center. Story, known her since a little baby, too. Small World Learning Center. We appreciate them. They've been caring for Gresham children for 37 years. Locally owned and operated preschool where education and fun become one. Voted the best daycare preschool and learning center for 14 years. Love being a positive part of the community, touching lives of Gresham's future. They care for children six weeks to 12 years, enriching children with love, laughter, and learning. Suzette Matthews is uh, one of the ones is, that put this together. That, that would be right? my wife. That would be your wife, And, yes. and we love this community. And we see, we hey, Reese and Ryan ones. right there. I happen to know those kids and our niece Olivia with them and Mark as well. Uh, and there's my wife driving the van. Oh, uh, How about that? Yourself. And she's got her sister in the passenger seat. But it is our 23rd anniversary today. Wow. Love that woman behind I the... The behind the wheel, wheel of that of, of that van she has just done an amazing thing we have amazing staff we have amazing, amazing parents um it's just a great community and, and small world is it's a wonderful place so obviously yes i'm yeah, a little partial there i'm a little biased <laughs> but uh but i've earned yeah. it and i and i appreciate them uh and they've earned it so well look at this i mean this is most yes. impressive and it's I, so awesome. I can remember when this was started, and look at how it's grown and grown. And I had a great-grandchild that went over there, too. And, and so I think this is absolutely wonderful. And this is Carlene Ryan taking our picture. She's been with us for so many years. The director of the center just does great work. Ah. So thanks to the entire staff. Thanks to the parents. Great turnout. Yes. Our green group. Okay, this is a green group that we have walking today. And uh, we have Riverview uh, Community Bank. They are one of our sponsors. They are not able to participate in it today, but they do have a banner, and we want to make sure that they got represented. And then we have Clack Clackamas Community Bank, and Clackamas Community Bank has been since 1911, and now they have locations in Sandy, Welch's, Boring, and Gresham. And Clackamas Community Bank takes pride in providing exceptional customer service by greeting every customer with an in-person teller and real people answering the phones. They are so involved in the community, Greg. Yes, they Everywhere are. I go, and Brian York is one of their representatives into the community, and I don't, didn't get no, to I see him. I did not him. see Brian, but let's focus now on this oh, group. Oh my, and this I'm is I'm gonna it. let you talk about Pat. She's okay. absolutely fabulous. This is the person and her husband that started up the Teddy Bear, Teddy Bear Parade 40 years ago. And so, Pat, they were the owner of Toy Bear in downtown Gresham, which was right across the street from us here. And she came up with the idea of a teddy bear parade. And today we see that it has grown into the celebration that we have. And riding with Pat was her big bear husband is Dale. And drivers are Catherine and John Boleyn. Uh, we, we have to thank them for the parade. Absolutely. And without them, we would not be having... Oh, look at that. And here's our East Hill Church family as well. They, they're a local, multi-generational, multi-ethnic church in downtown Gresham. They have a generous heart for the city with local outreaches and supporting schools, family shelters, organizations to help the community thrive. They are very excited to be here. They're an in-kind sponsor. <laughs> they, so. And they allow us to use their parking lot for the staging of this parade. And without them, we would not be able to do the parade. That is There's so true. no place in this area that has a, has that much space to allow this. And so now, we're grateful. And we've got Kinder Care uh, joining East Hill and kin Gresham Kinder Care provides care for children six weeks to 12 years old in the community. Excited to be here with the caring teachers, wonderful students and amazing families. Excited to celebrate and give back to the community. Thank you, Tiffany Carey and Mariah Johnson for putting this together and they've got the kinder care bus out here and look, look at, at that the, there's teddy bears everywhere yes they've done a nice job wow that's wonderful look at all the kids and the tent oh that's wonderful very nice music to go with it so now we have miss oregon and miss oregon's outstanding team miss oregon sophia sophia takla and miss oregon's outstanding team ju 
Fitzwater received their titles in June at the 75th Miss Oregon competition. They've won some scholarship monies too. To date, 19,184.50 respectively. The Miss America program prides itself in successfully empowering young women and reaching educational and professional pursuits. So Sophia and Deja, congratulations. Looking great. Oh, they're pretty. Okay, we have Maggie Mays here. Maggie Mays is a bookshop in downtown Gresham, and this is the third time that they've been awarded the best bookshop in Gresham. And with the help of their friendly staff, you will find books and gifts for all ages. And their leader today is Show Roberts. And look at all the people that are marching with them. Isn't that sweet? That is sweet. That's great. Oh, and look at the wagon. That's how, I mean, they people have gotten out of their way to decorate stuff this year. They have. And, and as you see, some of these wagons are filled with teddy bears. And uh -huh. I imagine those teddy bears are going to the to drop tip. point. To tip. And those are going to go to tip. And TIP is a trauma intervention program, and this is where the police and the fire take out to when there's emergencies and accidents and there's children, then they need something to cuddle up to. Yes, they do. So what I do today is I will load the back of my car up when we get back with all these teddy bears and animals and take them out there to them. Excellent. So uh, that's another way that we give back to the community. Wonderful. Well, here's North Gresham Grade School. They've got a great reputation for having exceptional staff members who love their students and provide them with rich academic and social experiences. The amazing principal Shonda Sewell paired with remarkable staff, involved parents and committed students. They come together to make North Gresham a wonderful, unique place to learn. Thanks for putting that together and there's North Gresham. Wow. They are a wonderful they're group. They're a happy That's group. A fun school. Yeah, they're a happy group. Yeah, that's great. So again, some of our sponsors that we have today are the Gresham Outlook, which is an in-kind. We have Mount Hood Community College. We have Pediatric Therapy Services, Mount Hood Tax, All About Automotive, Bold Orange, City of Gresham, they're in-kind also. East Hill Church, uh, Edward Jones, Alina, who's sponsoring our, yeah. our booth here. First, First Community Credit Union, KMO Real Estate, Remax, and Warren Allen Law Firm. And the Mount Hood Dance Academy right in front of us, located historic downtown Gresham. They are pre-professional dance academy that provides class in ballet, tap, jazz, hip hop, contemporary, lyrical, point, acro, tumble, and more. We're excited about competing at the Nationals in Disneyland this season. Wow. I'm jealous, Brittany Cruz. Going to Disneyland, oh, are you? Oh, that is cool. That's one school we missed <laughs> when we yeah. were growing up. <laughs> yes. Wow, and they're coming at us fast and furious now. Play ball. Yeah. This is Barlow Youth Baseball and Softball. You got a nice little... Wow, that is lovely. Yeah. That is really quite nice. And they are the Gar uh, Gresham Barlow Youth Baseball Softball. Teaches the basic skills and fundamentals of baseball and softball to aspiring athletes within the community. And they value the process of building a foundation by instilling determination, courage, and teamwork. From t-ball to high school players, t-ball is such a neat thing for young kids. Oh, it's so fun to watch. They absolutely are. And Kayla uh, Viramani's put this on, and we have to thank her for it. She's also, she's with Bold Orange. She's one of our sponsors and one of our members. Well, here's some uh, characters, second star party there we characters. There go. There we go. They believe that everyone deserves to feel like a superhero or princess. Their goal oh. is to help make magical forever memories, bringing out your inner princess or hero. Whether it be a birthday party, community event, school party, or business event, they'll bring the magic to you. And there we have Elsa and Cinderella. I see we, oh, Jack Sparrow's out and about. That's great. Yeah. They do such a beautiful job in their costumes. Okay. Mulan, that's, that's awesome, yeah. Uh-oh. Here's Miwa, and the, this is the Metro East Web Academy. It's an online public charter school. Each academy student receives a personalized education program designed to meet their unique needs. Students are part of a learning community. Miwa's vision is transforming education by providing multiple innovative pathways for student success. Have you been in that, that building? That is a wonderful, wonderful it's building. It's really neat, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, it really is. And they, this is so so needed in our community in today's society. Yes. Yeah, it's it's pretty amazing. Uh, kids learn in various ways and they that's learn exactly. in various atmospheres. And that's just kind of a neat opportunity for kids. A little different from the typical brick and mortar, which is kind that's of cool. That's exactly right. Nice to have the alternatives offered. It certainly is. Joe Swift with State Farm Insurance making our way. They strive to be your first and best choice for insurance and financial services. They're a third generation small business serving Gresham and the surrounding areas for over 50 years. Joe's dad, Pat, and his grandfather, Don, 
had State Farm agencies in Gresham all the way back to 1968. So the platform that we're sitting on today... He's not wearing khakis. <laughs> not wearing his khakis. Looking good. Looking good. I, I know some folks, who, I mean, it's just amazing. Joe, keep up the great work, and you're carrying on the swift tradition. And this is what we're sitting on today is is Pat's trailer today. Look so. at this. That's part of the legendary. That's, there they there are. There he is right there. There he is. Oh, we're talking crazy. about Pat it. that's crazy. Pat Swift is driving that truck. Well, he covered us all today every which way. He's a legend. Yeah, he is. Look at the hay. Oh, I love it. Good for them. Okay, now we're into the purple section. Yes, we are. So, we're into the purple section, and we, as one of our select sponsors is also Warren Allen Law. Warren Allen is the largest full-service law firm on this side of the Willamette River and has been protecting legal rights in the Northwest for over 50 years. Well, I'm competing with the plane. They are committed to... They are committed to providing exceptional services and have a reputation for diligence, integrity, and professionalism. Melissa Hubbard was leading that group today. Look at that beautiful 41 Packard. That was just a beautiful car. I, that is gorgeous. I mean, Warren's a great guy. It, now, That's a nice you know, car. You're in, the, you're in the car business, so you know all of these cars. I know none of them, except I love them, and I love the colors They're of them. They're lots of fun. Okay. They, you know, it's like any relationship, though. It can be frustrating at times with an old car, but oh, they're I lots bet. of fun. We keeping, enjoy them. Keeping them running, right? Yeah, just always a little quirk, but it's part of the experience. Yeah, and we need that today. Oh, yeah. So, this is First Student. And First Student is dedicated to the students' families that, we, that they service. Their employees are also active members of the Gresham community. They take great, pr great pride in the services that they provide for their families. Henry Bus is our community vehicle that works solely for Journey Up. Journey Up is a nonprofit that in, is run out of First Student Gresham. It provides backpacks, school supplies, and hygiene products as needed to families in our community. Their leader today is Tammy Rickman. Hi. Looking good, First Student. That's a great showing. Yes. That's that is. impressive. Yes, First it is. First Student, way to step up. That's awesome. Very good. Behind them is the Kiwanis Club of the Columbia Gorge and Kiwanis Key Club. Kiwanis Club of Columbia Gorge, a nonprofit organization of volunteers. They sponsor key clubs at Corbett, Centennial, Gresham, and Reynolds High Schools. Key clubs teach leadership skills to students who run meetings, plan projects, and hold elected leadership uh, positions within the clubs. Key clubs serve their communities by doing food and clothing drives, raise funds for the Thirst Project in Africa that builds wells and raises funds for Kiwanis Dornbecker Children's Cancer Program. Good wow. for them. And this is Sandy School's key club here. Wow. But you know, you can never start too early. And I love seeing students start giving back to the community. This is what makes a community. Absolutely. You know, it's Greg, you've been doing this for so many years. You've always given back of your time and whatever is needed. And we so appreciate that. Greg. Well, that's sweet, Carol. Thank you. Okay. So this is. This is Fabiano Scherner Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Fabiano Scherner Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu is located in the historic downtown Gresham. Although they're new to the area, their history is rich in the Pacific Northwest. It's led by Fabiano Scherner, multi-time world champion black belt and former UFC fighter. The Gresham branch is now accepting students ages five and up into our world-class program. And there's a little backflip with a round off and that looked pretty slick. Well done on camera and on cue. Wow. Okay, now we have Gresham Barlow again. These are the students, staff, and families from various schools in the Gresham Barlow School District are marching in this entry. The school district serves and strives to inspire and empower. Oh, m more than 11. Okay, I'm yeah. done. No, you're good. You've got Deep Creek Damascus, but you've also got the Gresham High School Rhythmettes. The Rhythmettes, uh, they are a long standing tradition and they do really I well. Love the Rhythmettes, the Rhythmettes, they are tough. This, this is Gresham Barlow the, that's and great. their pit band. Let them play that little on and water yeah. out. There's Joey. 
Looking good, Joey. I almost feel like I need to be up young there man marching. On the saxophone, yeah. yeah. So they've got the rhythm mats, and now they've got the cheerleaders following that pep band. Look at their little ones. How That's sweet. That's so neat. You know, and again, it's about mentoring. What are you going to do for the generation to follow? What kind of example will you provide Set, yes. in leading towards the future? And I just need to see these programs doing that. Absolutely right. Absolutely right. I almost felt like I needed to get up and start marching down the street. Yeah. Yeah, I kind of wanted to sing the fight song. I just yeah, didn't know all yeah. the words. Yeah. <laughs> Highland Elementary Husky Pack. Oh, wow. They're going to build a community at school through meetings, fundraisers, and events. Try to help new families feel welcome. Help support teachers and staff and help to keep families informed about events and activities at the school. At Highland, we're a family where everyone belongs. Good for Highland. Good for them. So again, for just a minute, I need to tell you that some of our sponsors today are West End Pontiac, Metro East Community. Without Metro East, we would not be here doing this today. So I'm so grateful to them for giving us this opportunity. This, absolutely. And as Gresham Ford starts making their way here, this car gave you a, a little bit of a fit here because yeah, this is that new F-150 electric truck. Yes, it is. The Lightning. Yes, it is. And, and Carol, we learned one thing, and that is that magnets don't stick to aluminum. Is that correct? Yes, that's what I learned uh, yesterday, last night, in fact. And so it was kind of a challenge, but they did a beautiful job. They did. And Gresham Ford, yes. Bess Wills, the dealer with the heart, she sponsored, There's supported, Ryan. participated in just about everything in the community since 2003. Supporting Shop Local, Gresham Ford's love project is given back as the community recovers from shutdowns of 2020. She's just done so much. And uh, they're the dealer with the heart. They send huge bear hugs to all. And, and they've also got the fill-a-bag program with Snowcap. Snowcap yeah, which so is... look for that. And thank you, Amy Tipser, for putting that, that together. together. She was driving that little electric truck. But uh, there's some neat rigs on the market oh. uh, that are coming out. And all these dealerships should be excited about what they're offering the community. Well, we have two big ones that are participating in our parade this year. Yes. And we're very, very grateful for that because without their sponsorship and without the use of some of their cars and their vehicles, we would not be able to make this happen. So true. So this is American Heritage Girls. The American Heritage Girls mission is building women of integrity through service to God, family, community, and country. They are organi an organization of girls five to 17 years of age who meet weekly at Harvest Christian Church in Troutdale. And then they do various community projects. Again, this is keeping them involved in the community. And I just love that. Oh, look at the stars. Yeah. That is pretty cool. They're decorated yeah. up. They, they, they've got a good showing today. The they American sure Heritage do. Girls. Good they, for them. They really do. That's great. That bear looks comfortable. It does. Oh, oh, look at the little one in front of it. See, what is this? Yeah, that's cute. <laughs> that is darling. So fun. Yep. So we also have KMO Real Estate, Remax, and Warren Allen that uh, are part of our sponsorship. We cannot make this. We could not do this if we did not have all of these people helping us. And then again, turn around and give it to our students that are graduating from Mount Hood and some of the other colleges. Correct. Because these are students that don't have means to stay in school so true and here's the rockwood community center the rockwood center religious nonprofit organization serve uh, serving the rockwood community partner with community neighbors by providing a number of classes in art music so entrepreneurial space and community gathering they uh gresham united methodist ministries has put this together and that's avi de jesus and i want to say too we just got to say if you're watching this at home, folks, it's only because of the fine work and the dedication of Metro East Community Media. Amen. They are an amazing partner, amazing sponsor, and we appreciate all they do. So Metro East Community Media, they are fantastic. And we thank them so much for all of this. So this is Visual Impressions Photography. They are a local photographer company that specializes in protecting your memories and cre creating art for your home. They support local charities through their annual Santa charity event. And Amanda... Campy was their leader, and we thank them for participating today. Oh, this Check is this out, Todd. Mr. Gresham. Here's Mr. Gresham, Gresham right here in a Ford Bronco Sport Outer Banks Edition. Todd Kernan. Mr. Gresham's in the name here you're in back in high school, and uh, he received the award for the most spirit in his senior class. He showcases that spirit daily. He walks downtown Gresham, providing an important service and a helping hand to downtown merchants. 20 years of fast, honest, reliable service. Make sure to call Gresham's best delivery guy, Mr. Gresham. 
So here we have REAP. REAP's mission is to pro be proactive and ignite, elevate, and engage the next wave of leaders for the future. We have a lot of people here for that. For over 21 years, REAP has been providing leadership programs for third through 12th grade students that elevate youth voices, empowered student leaders with a global mindset, expand student, students' innovation toward en entrepreneurship, and again, students in cooperative management. REAP exposes students to new people, places, and perspectives in order to broaden their horizons. And their programs are provided in eight school districts, including Centennial David Douglas School District. And here's the Girl Scouts. Service units 15 and 16, they prepare for a lifetime of leadership, success, and adventure through challenging and fun activities like earning badges, selling cookies, traveling, exploring science, getting outdoors, and doing community service projects. Girl Scouts have been serving their communities since 1912. Service units 15 and 16, proud to serve their communities in Gresham and East Multnomah County. Great job. Yeah. And Carissa Macy was a group leader. Thanks for putting this together. The teddy bear cart right there. Right there. And wow. so is it time for cookies yet from the Girl Scouts? Oh, my gosh. I, I am know. wondering where the thin mints are at. And, and, <laughs> and by the way, how do they name it that when they create such havoc on my body? But I, I do like it. <laughs> I do like them a lot. I'm not going there, Greg. <laughs> Samoas, Thin Mints, you know, the, I mean, the, the shortbread cookies, I mean, they really yeah. have some. Yeah. yeah, they do a great job that way. Nice I'm to see the Girl Scouts. Folks. And again, like a, you know, younger darling. girls learning from older girls and, Absolutely. and their mentorships. Absolutely. So important to have them all involved. It really is in today's society. Yeah. Rather than watching the television or whatever it is that they do after school, to have them involved in learning. Absolutely. So... Uh, this is number 14, WealthWave, How Money Works, a team of financial educators who help individuals and families learn key financial concepts to help move the needle on their financial roadmap. The education is free, so come find one of them to talk to and learn where your education gaps are about money. When you change your literacy, you can change your life. Group leader is Ashley Whitaker. That's quiet. That is yeah. so quiet. That's a nice little truck. Yeah. So we are into the red group now, and so we're into the First Community Credit Union. First Com Community Credit Union is a not-for-profit, full-service financial institution. They're dedicated to helping their members and communities. They offer personalized cost-saving financial sol solutions. And their leader is Micaiah Holtzman, and they thank them for participating. I believe this might, they are a select sponsor, and I think this is one of their first time in our parade, and so we're very grateful for that. Oh, we got the Corbett group. The this Corbett is, Cheer Club. This is great. They're based in Corbett. They are K through 12 group who cheer at football games, appear at community events in the summer and fall. They love cheering on the Corbett Cardinals. Go Cards. Wait. They're they're darling, aren't they? That's great, absolutely. Yes, I love their little cost, their little outfits that they're wearing. So this must be Gresham Arthur Academy because aren't they the ones that always bring the truck that go the dump truck that goes down? And like there that. it goes on cue, Carol. There it just goes, like right that. like you, that. You just called it as there as it yes, raised up. Yes, I love that. So Gresham Arthur Academy is a place where students K through five, staff and families are valued and respected. They work together to provide a safe, welcoming environment in which all students thrive and love to learn. Their group leader today is Brittany Shepard, and I love this truck with when it does that. I think that is so, look at it, it's just packed. That is so cool. Very nice. Yeah, hi. That is super. That is so great. With all the parents behind it. Yeah. That's a good turnout, isn't it? Very good it? turnout. Yes. Very good turnout. Little ones. <laughs> oh, look at, and the dog. <laughs> oh, sure. That is so cute. He's got wings. Yes, he's going to fly. So the next one we have is Avamir. Have you ever been there? To, Avamir, to I Chestnut have. Chestnut Lane? Yeah. What a nice place to go. It is. Yeah, it's a very nice place. Uh, they're an assisted living facility. They specialize in care for seniors who are deaf and deaf blind. Chestnut Lane is the only assisted living for deaf and deaf blind in the entire country. The majority of the staff and residents are deaf and the primary language used in American Sign Language. Join Chestnut Lane in proudly serving this wonderful community. Well done. Good to see you. 
It's good to see them. And thank you, Elaine Bailey, for putting that together. So now we have a Metro East. They are certainly in kind and they, st <laughs> hi. <laughs> we certainly would not be able to be doing this today if, oh, there's Avamir is still part of this. Yeah. So we have a bus with other people on it and that's great that this many people participated. That's more from folks that. from Avamir and that's wonderful. That's wonderful. You know, we, we touched on earlier, Mr. Gresham and we, didn't have a chance to mention uh, that there's a statue for Mr. Gresham, this community right across put together. the street. Yeah. And it's right next to Cafe Delirium. And if you're ever in Gresham, you really need to take a selfie with Mr. Gresham. And you'll either see him walking, delivering, or just go find the, brand, the bronze statue. And you can take a picture with Mr. Gresham and post it. You'll find lots of folks have. Well, and I can tell you that when I'm in places where Todd, like the beauty shop or, sure. or somewhere, Todd comes in and he's so grateful and he'll go get whatever it is you want. And that's how he, 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 he survives. Yep. Now, look at this, folks. Metro East Community Media, they're committed to digital inclusion, ensuring that access to technology, training and tools are available to everyone. They educate the public on how to enrich their lives through technology, as well as the many ways media impacts their lives every day. They have an award-winning production team, and they create original professional video and web content that engages audience and builds awareness. Specialize in helping organizations with a cause and communicate their message. The content creator or created at Metro East reaches into three hundred fifty thousand dollars or three hundred fifty thousand homes in the Greater Portland area via six cable channels. So, how about that, Carol? Right wow. now, they're going to broadcast us into 350,000 homes. So are, are some of those down south? Of course. We're big <laughs> in the south, and you know that. Oh, here we go. Dynamic Martial Arts. They were established in 2017. Dynamic Martial Arts inspires, educates, and empowers its students to be positive leaders and role models who take the ideas taught on the mat out of the dojo and into the world. Training is tailored to the various age groups that it serves. The teachers and staff work hard to make sure each and every student and family feels at home. The great group leader is Jeremy Smith, and we're so grateful that they are here today. Dynamic martial arts. Good showing there, too. You know, we have a number of these in, in Gresham now, and I'm so happy about that for our students, our younger people, to go and be learning self-defense. Absolutely. And, and it's exercise. It's and, just plain exercise. And here's another example of why this parade is so special, because now we have... Ed Eustace. He's returning to Teddy Bear Parade with his 1968 Dodge Dart GT. Members of Ed's family are riding with him in the vintage Dart. This is what's cool about what you allow in the yeah, Sirocco Center National Parade. This is a citizen. Ed would like to have his family in a parade in his beautiful convertible Dart. And we've allowed it. And here he is driving down Main Street and with I the kids and great. they're having a blast. Well, and let me tell you about these the families being uh, participating. Many of these children will never be in another parade in their entire life. And this gives them an opportunity to at least say, I've been in a parade. I've been able to, to wave at my mom or my grandpa or my whatever it is. And we're grateful for that. Yes. You know, Absolutely. and that's what we are about. We are a community parade. We're not just about businesses. We're about everybody in the community. Yes. So here we are now. We're with Oregon uh, Walks. Uh, Play, Grow, Learn and Oregon Walks have partnered to bring awareness to pedestrian safety in the Rockwood Gresham community. The pri priority is to teach youth the safe concepts centered around active transports, transportation safety, so they may lead and walk within the community. And Ashton Simpton is their leader, so we're very, we're very uh, pleased about that. And they just keep on coming, and that is great. Yep, play, nice, grow, and learn. Nice banner. That's a that's a lovely banner. That, that is they have. dedicated to healthy opportunities. For underserved, under deserved, let's see here, underserved Served. youth to play, grow, and learn. Very nice. That's a very nice banner. Play, grow, learn. One of my things in the club is to take care of banners, and so these Cowboys. guys have done a <laughs> <laughs> have done a great job. <laughs> oh, I love the interaction we get with people. It's so much fun. Obviously, a 49ers fan there. Yeah. Sorry about your season. Hey. Uh, and, and this is great, too. The Sandy Ghostbusters. Fun family Ghostbusters car used to brighten and add fun to the local community parades. Most recently participated in the Sandy Mountain Festival Parade in Sandy. That's Paul Stevenson, you got a great car. Who are you going to call? I don't know. Yeah. But that's the Ghostbusters. I think that is cool. Absolutely. That is really. That is awesome. Oh, this. Well done. 
Well done. Now that's that's somebody who's given to the community and, and just creating some fun. Yes. Lots yes. of smiles come on people's faces uh, on that card. You'd never think. Oh, and here is the Gresham Historical Society. I happen to be a board member of the Gresham Historical Society. And with that, we have a board member, uh, Sandra Walking, and we have Sue Piazza, who is our current president, Walking. Sandra has her, her grandchildren, and there is Mikey. Where he's a great volunteer at the museum, works all the time. And so this is this is where my heart is right now, is helping to, to yeah. uh, keep the history of Gresham and what is going on. Very neat. This is wonderful. Look at that. Isn't that great? So we are located, the Gresham Historical Society is located right down here on 4th. Yeah. Uh, on 4th and Main. And if you've never been there, you need to come and visit us because we are the history of Gresham. Oh, and here's another one. How cool is this that? This is so fun. Good for them is to be that, out here. Nat? I love now, these old brass this, cars. Is this history or what? Oh, it is history. And this it's rolling so, down the middle of Main Street history. right here in Gresham. This is so that wonderful. That is so great. You know, we have we have uh, exhibits that we go change throughout the year. Yeah. And we're getting ready and starting in December. We have a great Christmas one that we put on every year. It's a showpiece. Yeah. And you need to come and see that. This is absolutely wonderful that they were able to do that. This Here. is my favorite entrance thus far. Oh, is that uh, not I, great? I, I got to say, this is really cool. The brass cars look absolutely beautiful. These, these are just amazing. It's a 1911, which... It's wow. driving down the middle of Main Street right here. Yeah, it's just Gresham. awesome. And I must say that Karen Johnston was in charge of getting all these together. And thank you, Karen. Oh, you wow. did a beautiful job. Reynolds so. School District. Here we are. They're going to follow up. And they are uh, school. The Reynolds School District proudly serves beautifully diverse student population. More than 10,800 young scholars. Students and families represent more than 125 birth countries and 70 spoken languages. Each student brings a wealth of cultural knowledge and experience into a classroom, allowing the district to flourish in strength and diversity in multicultural perspectives. That's amazing. 125 birth countries and 70 sounds, spoken languages. Uh, amazing. So now we're into our white group, and this is Powell Valley Elementary School. Powell Valley Elementary School is an amazing group of parents, volunteers that support the students, teachers, and staff at Powell Valley. They coordinate events to foster the community in our neck of Gresham, including Gresham Christmas and Spring Carnival. They try to give back as much as they can to their school and help as many children along the way as possible. And we're grateful for that. And their group leader is Kayleen Purdom. And we thank them for coming today. That's nice. That's great. Great turnout. Yes, we have a lot of schools. Do you notice that, that have participated? And I think that's that's so wonderful. I just think we have a lot of folks that were just kind of ready for this parade to get started up again. And I, I, think and I you're just right. compliment the Sirachmas. The easiest thing would have been to take advantage of the opportunity and say, you know what, we had a good run, right? It's a lot of work to put this on. You and your your co optimists I mean, you put so much effort into this, and then it's gone in just a couple hours. Well, and we actually start about six months ahead of time. Well, and, it and takes you actually time. don't finish when this parade's over. You continue oh, the work. No. It's crazy. <laughs> no. So thank you for all you do, and thanks to your optimists Wow. Uh, Sirachmus International Gresham running strong. If you're interested, Find a way to get a hold of these gals and guys and join if you'd like. Absolutely. We meet at the Elks at, uh, the first and third Thursday of every month, and we have a program. And we're so busy always doing things. And so if you want to get involved and want to meet other women and want to meet other business women as well as women that are com c giving back to the community and men, yeah. come and join us. And we're online at, at seroptimist.com. So please give us a call and come in and see us. Well, here's Bonaventure of Gresham. Bonnie the Bear is accompanying the Bonaventure entry today. At Bonaventure, you create the home you want and the lifestyle you deserve. Whether you're looking to relax and simplify or seek new adventures and friends, they're here to make your next chapter just how you want it. Thanks, Gary Warren, Bonaventure, and, of course, Bonnie the Bear. we got bears all over. Yeah. That's also a wonderful place to, get, to go to. So the next one we have is Hollydale. And Hollydale Elementary is a K-5 through public school dedicated to serving the youth of Gresham. Their staff, students, and parents work together to create a fun, educational environment that benefits the entire holiday community. Let's go Heroes, that must be theirs. And Mel Melanie Edmonds is their leader today. And another really pretty truck full of kids. Very nice. I, I just love these trucks. Oh yeah, they're rolling big. There you go, yeah. 
Very nice. The Hollydale oh, Heroes. Nice. Absolutely. Shazam. Just like that. Wow. And you know what we've had today? <clears throat> we've had a, a large uh, amount of strollers today, and I think that's really great. These parents are bringing them to the parade. These kids are going to grow up in the parade. Yeah. And hopefully someday they will do our job in the parade. <laughs> Let's hope so. Well, and now, uh, speaking of doing jobs, we have the Oregon Equestrian Trails, Mount Hood Chapter, Oregon Tra Equestrian Trails, Builds and Maintains Trails, and Horse Camps in Mount Hood and surrounding areas. Their motto, leave no trace. <laughs> well, we'll find out who's judging that, that today. One. But uh, look at these beautiful Pretty. horses and the mini horses. Oh, I love them. Aren't they sweet? Oh, look it. I've always been fascinated by horses. They're just an amazing animal. Well, they've even done their legs, and, and they just are beautiful. They're beautifully done. And, and wow. when, oh, when, and they got a teddy bear on the backs of them. And when folks sign up, they, they sign up and let us know what to expect. They've got large horses, mini driving horses, and pooper scoopers. Yep, we got a poop. That's, that's always the thing you have to have. Leave no trace. <laughs> See, she's unable to really scan over here because she's so focused on her mission <laughs> right now. <laughs> And it's so important to the group behind her. <laughs> Which is Hall Elementary School. Yes. Hall Elementary students are working hard and doing well in their reading, music, physical education, and math. They're marching down this that learning path. They're, we're Hall, we're Hall, they say. Their group is Heidi or Orlani, and we're so glad to have them here. Oh, look at the d dog. <laughs> well, I've heard about people say you got a monkey on your back, but a dino on your back? I don't know. Little Jack Russell Terrier giving his friend a ride today. So I'll take it from here. Oregonians <laughs> Credit Union, they've been improving the financial lives of neighbors for quite some time now. They've got the best loans, the best rates, and the best people. Come visit them downtown on Powell Boulevard. See how they can help you get financially fit. Megan Morency, thanks so much. She's the group yep, leader. she's the group Oregonians leader. Oregonians Credit Union, right down there on there Powell Boulevard. Are. Check Powell them out. Yep. Thank you for being involved. Appreciate it. Oh, the little one, you got to wave at her. That's another nice big truck. You know, every, all the trucks now are two, they're two seater. Oh, with a real dog in it. Two seaters. Yeah. And that's still the Oregonians Credit Union. Yeah. That dog doesn't know which side to look at. He's, he's <laughs> kind of got it made. He's going back and forth. <laughs> oh, and she's carrying one. Look he's at tired. this young man parade ready with that smile yeah. on his face. He is yeah. ready. He's yeah. looking straight yeah. at the camera. So, all right. Who's up next? So this is the good guy. The good guy are a bunch of friends and family that is always looking for a good time. Their leader is Mike Johnson and Phil Rice. That's the good a, guys. That's a pretty car. Yes, it is. Little Mazda Miata with bear stuffed that, in the headlights. Is that what it is? They are the good guys. I'm waiting for the good guys to smile. Oh, they're they, not even smiling. But they, look at all the bears they got, the big they, bears. They are stuffed. That's great. Oh, my. Look at this. And see, the, now, oh. I, you said Phil Rice, and I'm looking for Phil Rice, and now here oh, he yeah, is, he is because that's Phil's mini fire truck, which I was expecting is to see Is that what today. that is? Oh, yes, it okay. is. Okay. Yep, and there's Phil right there. Phil was just part of an effort with Jim Musen for the uh, Cruising with the Cops on September 11th. Oh, okay. Wonderful. Oh, I love all this. Yeah. Oh, I love, bear. love the bear. <laughs> I think we've had every size, shape, color of bear there is possible yes. today. Yeah. We, which is what this is about. Absolutely. Yep. That is great. So, so much fun and such a perfect day out here, smack dab in the middle of Main Street. If you're just tuning in, you're watching the 40th annual International Sorotomous Aggression Teddy Bear Parade. And this is a lot of fun. Here we have lovely landscaping. Family-owned business provides same-day quotes. Next-day service. Domingo Torralbo Sanchez, thank you very much for being part of the Teddy Bear Parade. Outstanding. Lovely landscaping. Yep, the green goes with it. That's so perfect. I see their truck around town. They're doing a lot of work out there. Oh, good are they? Them. Oh, good. Here we do. Lavish Beauty Company is a new upscale salon in downtown Gresham. They are a group of talented stylist providing clients with the utmost care and best experience and their leader was carmen escalante today and so we're pleased to have them involved very nice yes 
So we have the next one. Oh, this is probably where you and I need to go, the joint chiropractic. <laughs> oh, yeah. I would bend over backwards getting that place. Uh, joint, joint care. Don't put your neck out for this. Here we go. The joint is reinventing chiropractic care, making quality health care affordable for patients seeking pain relief and ongoing wellness. Membership plans and packages eliminate the need for insurance and our no appointment policy, convenient hours and locations make care more accessible. Ashley Kersey put this together. The Joint Chiropractic. There they are. And they're coming in Wood Village, it says on there. That's what they've it says. Written, they've written all over that. And, and there they are. There they are. Yeah. Oh, well, now she's... She, now you can tell how loose they are, yeah, folks. Yeah, look and, at her. And, and yeah. their backs, really, I mean, at that point, they're, adjustments aren't even necessary. Where, yeah. where is the spine? That's, <laughs> she's got more moves than you haul. That's crazy. <laughs> and here's another one. They've got a lot in, in this parade today, which yes, I'm happy they do. about. That's a cute little car. There they go. Hi. Now I. Up. Well, we 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 flipped them, but that's good. We've got. Uh, this is the Gresham Sanitary this Service. This is sanitary. Obviously. Yep. And they are a family-owned business that has been servicing the Gresham area for 75 years. They're committed to their job and the people of Gresham, and they're proud to call Gresham their home. Matt Miller is their leader. And I have to tell you, they are one of the best companies in Gresham oh. that we have. They give so much away. Oh, my goodness. Look at what's going on. <laughs> oh, Whoa. folks, I'd like to encourage you to stay off the road and yeah. stay on the curb. Yeah, be careful They've where you They've got go. some reach. These wow. folks are wonderful. And, you know, I... I've also contacted go. them for Hi. shredding services, oh, and, have you? and they also do shredding. The Millers are just an amazing family. They've contributed to this community over and over, over and over. Over and over. 75 and over. years and counting. I mean, they are just absolutely, absolutely. outstanding. So, Speaking of outstanding, when you who? want the very best, you call these folks. This is Gresham Fire and Emergency Services. They provide life safety services to city residents and contract districts for residents living in the cities of Fairview, Troutdale, Wood Village, and areas of unincorporated Multnomah County. They are simply Hi, the best. Yes. Here they are. If you want the best, these are who you call. Captain Eric Byrne in the front. We love it. Engine 71. We've got the battalion chief behind him, obviously, and then truck 71. But they do amazing work. And it's not just fire response. It's everything. Trench rescue, water rescue, uh, you know, confined space. It's, it's amazing the plethora of services they provide and the skills and qualities of the men and women that make up Gresham Fire. Mike Traeger right there. He's from Sio, Oregon. He's one of the good guys as well. Uh, just a great leader in the battalion chief spot. And there we have Andrew Wynn. They, they got some good folks. Joshua James, good to see you in Gresham. All right, there they are, Truck 71. Go Cowboys. And uh, they know what I'm talking about, but there they are. That is absolutely the very best of what you have to offer in Gresham. Gresham Fire and Emergency Services, well done. And then we have the last one that's coming. You know, Greg. They always end our parade, and it says on the back of that, thank you for joining us. Uh-huh, and then and one then more round. And then we have one more. This is West End, and you know, they're all over West End. Yeah. This is, again, uh, Brad Rowe that takes and does his thing. <laughs> Even Brad doesn't know what he's doing, but he's playing, he's playing a, a you know, wonderful song. God bless the USA. God Amen. bless Gresham. And God bless the Seraphimus International of Gresham. I mean, oh. Carol... As, as Brad passes by in the GMC, just one last shout out. It's been 40 years I of know. amazing parades. I and, know. and you and your group have just been absolutely fantastic. You and I have been able to do this for about, I don't know, a quarter 25 century. 25 to 30 years, um, yeah. And it wouldn't happen if we didn't enjoy it. I just absolutely, I love you, I respect you, I admire you. You are fantastic. And, well, and you've just been a you. blessing. Thank you, and my friend. I want to say also, Metro East Community Media. They, yeah, we they, can't say enough. They're amazing. They what are what they've developed from back when it started to the to the Where show they produce today. today, it's amazing. And if you want to be involved in Metro East Community Media, then reach out to them and find Absolutely. a way to, to volunteer. Dear. We're going to smile for a quick selfie with Leslie. Yeah, but yeah. again, Metro East Community Media, there are there are spots for you down there if you'd like to learn how to do some of what they do. But they are amazing technicians and very professional everything they do well and they're the only ones that we have in town that do this and so we're very very grateful for them and it's always top notch and so I, we encourage you to tune in to metro east and uh they will uh if go online and then you will find out when we are show, yeah. showing i was going to so, say that they'll add they'll show that online and they'll, they'll have that online we're just seeing all these folks jerry hinton and kathy yeah. keithley and all our friends are stopping by <laughs> but i want to say they're going to show the playtimes online 
folks, yeah. this isn't your last chance to see us. Stay oh, up no. till three. We're big in the South. Oh, People absolutely. know this. Uh, they will air this multiple <laughs> times throughout the year. But at the end of the day, really, thank you to Gresham for coming on out and supporting this. Thank you to our community sponsors. Uh, it, it really is a group that puts us together. But at the at the lead of that and at the helm, Sriracha Senior International Gresham. All you do and all you've done in this community and just continue to the future is just a blessing. So thank and you. We're and we're going to do it with your everybody. help. With your help. And I'll thank be you, there my, for you. Thank you, my I'll friend. I'll answer the call every time. Thank you, my friend. We love you. All right. We love you, Have too. Have a good day. Take care, Gresham. Good night.